Hey everyone, today's video is going to be an unboxing. I made a purchase for my birthday, so this is basically my birthday gift to myself because, you know, sometimes you just gotta treat yourself. You can't expect anybody else to treat you. You just gotta do it yourself. So, I'm going to basically unbox everything right now. I'm waving around a knife because I needed this box cutting knife to open up the box. So, let's do this thing. So, whoops. Who is texting me? Don't they know that I'm trying to unbox something? So, I decided to get this gift wrap. I think it was 10 additional US dollars because, you know what, I wanted to open something pretty on camera and I also wanted to open something pretty for my birthday, so YOLO. So, oh it's so pretty! Um, I'm probably gonna have to take a few Instagram pictures, uh, let's be real here. But this is what it looks like. It's beautifully gift wrap, like it has this little bow right here, and it's from Aspinall of London. I hope I'm saying that correctly and it's not like a spinal or something, but this is from a designer luxury handbag store in London. I think it's a London brand, so most people in the US probably haven't even heard of it. But please hold Instagram photo in progress. So when you get the gift wrap, it's going to have a little business card it looks like up here and it's stapled in and it has a really nice seal. I'm just going to gently take that apart. So they give you a really nice dust bag which is great. I really believe that dust bags give just a little bit more authenticity to the purse so it's always a good idea to keep these. Oh my gosh. I'm actually shocked by the size of this bag, if I'm completely honest. And how do these straps... Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm actually shocked by the size. This looks ginormous. Like, when you look at the website, the bag does not seem or appear this large. It's gigantic. Like, it's bigger... It's twice my head. So, wow. And it's hard because, so I was in LA recently and I tried to find this particular brand in LA because I didn't want to pay for the really expensive shipping and handling. If you're shipping to the US, I think the shipping is $20 and the insurance and handling is $80, which is a hundred more dollars on top of the already expensive purchase. So I thought that was a little bit excessive, but I used a 15% off code. So if you ever plan to purchase from Aspinall of London, I would recommend waiting for a coupon code of some kind because they do give coupon codes pretty frequently, it seems like. So anyway, this bag, um, my first impression is that it's significantly, significantly larger than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be one of those smaller crossbody bags. Um, so definitely surprised by that. On the back is a mini little like card holder. I think I could put a few business cards or like my ID or something in there. And it says Aspinall of London, England. And it's got this somewhat short handle, but I imagine that there is a larger strap or handle inside. So let's open this up and see what's going on inside. And I'll show you that too, because I'm, I'm learning everything with you guys here. You pull this up and then it opens like so. Oh, there it is. So on the inside is the larger handle because the reason I bought this is because I thought it would be like a crossbody bag, but this is gonna hold a crap ton of stuff. Way more than I originally expected. So, let's just take a little peek. And there's silver hardware, which is something I really liked. Most of my bags right now um, are gold and black. So that's why I went for this beige color. And I think they call it soft taupe pebble. And I really like the silver hardware because I don't have much with silver hardware. So I thought that was a really nice touch to this as well. And then we'll take out the other thing I would note with more pricey handbags is to keep the stuffing. And if you keep this bag in storage, 
Make sure you put the stuffing back into the bag so it keeps its shape while you're not using it. So yeah, this is really, really, really nice. I'm really happy with it. And I'm actually starting to, the size of it is starting to really grow on me. So that's pretty cool. So I'll give you a couple of close-ups so you guys can actually see the inside of the bag. So as you can see, there's two pockets on one side, and then there's another larger pocket with a zip on the other side. Plenty of room in the center. I just wanted something different. I didn't want to get the same bag that everybody else already had, but I knew I wanted something high quality. Um, so I just went for the Aspinall of London brand. So I hope you guys are intrigued now. And if you have any questions about why I chose this brand over other brands, let me know in the comments down below. And I would love to hear what bags you yourself are lusting after because I've been doing a lot of bag research the past few weeks. And this is the bag I knew I wanted from the very beginning, but I still waited just because I wasn't 100% sure. And when you're spending a crap ton of money on a bag, you have to wait it out. Make sure that you still want that bag after a couple weeks and that it's not an impulse buy. I hope you guys like this video. I hope that it was as detailed as you may have wanted it to be if you have any questions about the bag itself let me know down in the comments below I hope I can answer any and all of them I'm not a handbag expert I'm just dabbling and in getting into the handbag world so I hope to get more knowledgeable as time goes on um, if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button down below I post videos at least once a week. Sometimes there are two videos when I do a bonus week. So make sure you subscribe. That way you will not miss out on any of my new content. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Same place, same old.